So what we did was we, we rounded up certain peoples that played instrumental roles within the community. Members of the FSM community, representatives from the Guam Police Department, the Department of Youth Affairs, and other service organizations have partnered together to reach out to all facets of the community in an effort to make Guam streets safer. Guam Crime Stoppers Coordinator Officer Paul Tapau. So our main goal is to reach out to the families and try to teach them how to care about what's going on in the community and how to care for the family and everything. And hopefully it spreads throughout the, the whole, you know, the whole neighborhood and everything. And, and from there you can start seeing a reduction in crimes and everything. Youth member Eddie Winnis has played an integral part of getting the message to the FSM youth. He and several others started a group, Nate Wind, last year in an effort to show island residents that there are positive contributions made every day by FSM citizens who call Guam home. A lot of things that we hear and that people know about is always the negative impact that Micronesians have. So Nate Wind is a group that showcases the hardworking Micronesians, fallen Micronesian soldiers, Micronesian business owners and stuff like that. Last month, following the tragic hit and run death of 17-year-old J.R. Isaac, the group organized a candlelight vigil. And just last week, they organized the first No Alcohol Day, getting more than 300 people in the FSM community to give up drinking on that single day. Gwyneth also put together the TYM group, Team Youth Micronesia, that has partnered with the Department of Youth Affairs and Island Girl Power. We set up recreation activities for them to keep, keep the Micronesian youth busy, so that way they can stay out of trouble. So we have different recreational acti activities, such as um, art activities, sports activities. Um, we also have tutors, we have music um, activities and dance activities. This community outreach program is designed so it's inclusive, uh, not exclusive of FSM, uh, per persons of FSM, but it's inclusive of our Chamorros, our locals, our Filipinos, our locals, and I'm going to keep saying our locals because you stay here long enough, you become local. DYA Director Adonis Mendiola says the outreaches are meant to help the FSM community take the beginning steps of having safe and healthy neighborhoods. United like this, we can see all of Micronesia coming together. Witness in the meantime will share his message at island campuses beginning at JFK on March 28th. For those who would like to join the movement, you can visit Team Youth Micronesia on Facebook or email natewind at gmail.com. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.